So it looks like Dan Byrne will be the next player through the door as a new sign-in for Newcastle United after a free of £13 million has been agreed with Brighton for the six foot seven centre-back. Hi everybody, I'm Paul. Welcome back to another video and uh, yeah, just confirmation there today that Newcastle United have had a bid of £13 million accepted for their centre-back Dan Byrne, who is of course a Newcastle United fan and from the area himself. Now, what he brings is a very, very good CV as far as I'm concerned. He's very well thought of at Brighton, uh, very good centre-back, standing obviously six foot seven. He's going to be a threat at set pieces and corners, as well as obviously defending in our own area. Now, is he better than what we have there already? I think he is. I genuinely think he's a better defender than Jamal Lascelles, who, of course, is captain of the club, uh, and I don't think he should be anywhere near the captaincy anyway. Uh, I think Dan Byrne and Fabian Scher could play very, very well together. Now, a lot of people are saying, will he drop Jamal Lascelles with him being club captain? I'm not so sure. I really am not so sure on that one. Um, I would, if I was him, I would drop him straight away. He wouldn't be first on my team sheet. But I have a feeling that Eddie Howe is a big fan for some reason of Jamal Lascelles and Jamal Lascelles will be first on the team sheet, which is a bit unfortunate uh, if you're a Newcastle fan. Uh, however, the signing of Dan Byrne is yet another indication that Newcastle United are filling up their squad now in positions that we really needed to be filled. Uh, everybody was expecting... A massive big name coming in at centre back, you know, your Butmans or your Carlos. Um, but, it, you know, those clubs have proved very, very difficult to negotiate with. And Newcastle United have turned around and said to Brighton, right, we'll give you this. They've negotiated a price clearly because Brighton rejected two approaches. But Newcastle United have gone on and, and got a third bid accepted. Therefore, it's all done and dusted now. The, the fee is agreed. Therefore, we can go and discuss personal terms with the player himself. Now, with the likes of Carlos, and Botman, these guys, the, the, the owners of the club, have proved very, very hard to deal with, dug the heels in, it, if you like, and made it very, very impossible to get these deals through and over the line. However, that's not to say that deadline day tomorrow won't bring a whole host of rumours, um, teams panicking that they're not going to get big money. I still believe Botman will go uh, right to the wire because I think Lille may turn around and say, we cannot afford to lose out on such big money. Something may happen to Botman uh, the rest of the season. He may get injured. He may lose his form. Uh, he may not be as highly recommended as he is at the moment. And Lille would then miss out on big, big money given the financial struggles they've got. And also Carlos at Sevilla, could they afford to maybe uh, be struggling with money? Could they afford to turn this deal down? I'm not so sure they can. So I think a lot is still to be done. It's going to be a fantastic transfer window. But again... Dan Byrne is somebody who I'm really, really happy to get through the door. I've seen him play quite a few times. Very impressed. And he's very quick for six foot seven as well. You know, just because he's that tall, people think, oh, he'll not be very quick. He'll, he'll be quite slow. He's not. If you watch videos of him uh, or highlights of previous games, you'll see. You know, he played very well at Chelsea earlier on in the season as well. Uh, he was absolute man mountain for them in that game. So there's a lot to be excited about Dan Byrne. You know, these players that are coming in the door, are they better than what we have at the moment? That's what you have to ask yourself. The one I'm not convinced about yet is Chris Wood. Uh, I know he's only played twice for us. Uh, I'm yet to be convinced that he is the answer up front. But hey, maybe we'll go for another striker. What is for certain is this transfer window is going to be sorry, the deadline date is going to be incredibly exciting. Something that we as Newcastle United fans have never had in a very, very long time. We've never been able to be excited about a transfer window as we are with this one. That's a, that's a damn certainty. So there's a lot to be excited about. Uh, we will be broadcasting from 10 o'clock in the morning all the way through to midnight. Um, two hour stints on each channel. One, we start off at 10 o'clock on the Tune Review channel till 12. Then we jump over to World of Sport for two hours and roll on like that all the way through to midnight tomorrow night. It is going to be fantastic. So make sure uh, that if you if you 
if you're at work or you're at home, make sure you've got us on somewhere in the background scene. We will bring you up to date with every latest deal that is going on tomorrow. It's going to be a hell of a day, and we're really looking forward to bringing that to you. Uh, but if you have enjoyed the video, guys, please hit the like button for me. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already and you like what you see, please do consider subscribing. You can also become a member of the Toon Review if you hit the join button, uh, which is just below this video. Or if you can't see that, the link to join the membership is in the description as well. Uh, big shout out to the channel sponsors, Geordie Riffs, uh, who are offering 10% off your first guitar setup or 10% off your first repair, and uh, also your first guitar lesson completely free of charge. Uh, just quote the tune review. Uh, their link to the website is down below in the description as well. You can also catch them on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, but let me know in the comments what you think about Dan Byrne signing, and uh, how many more do you think are going to come through in the next 24 hours? It's going to be very, very exciting. Uh, but until then, guys, take care.